Hi, uh, this is my performance. Sorry it could not be in person. I'm doing a little bit better physically, but still it's been a little touch and go. Um, if at any point I just like get ready to look like I'm sitting down or something like that, this has been a thing. Um, and this is kind of the reason why I decided not to perform in person and all that. And I'm sorry if maybe it seems like I'm losing my words or whatever. Um, neurologically, weird things have been happening or whatever. And, and of course, it's been affecting my brain and all that. So, anyways, though, I am going to present to the best of my ability through the camera. And, yeah, so, anyways. This is me. I know it doesn't really look like me, but it's me, it's me. It's gonna get the point across. So, the reason why I am up on the board, well, it's kind of how I felt at Thanksgiving. I feel like that anytime I go to anything on my mom's side of the family. So, I guess for context, what you're gonna need to know is that, there is me and my sibling, which my mom had, and then my mom has an older brother who has three kids, and then my mom has a younger sister that had three kids also. So, I, right here, am the oldest, um, and with that came a lot of interesting things and especially now that I am 22, you know, whenever you go to Thanksgiving, you're dealing with you as a 22 year old, but one of the youngest being 12 years old, there's a lot you realize just in general about family in general that you maybe didn't realize before. So, in my house growing up, both my parents were very liberal. I think liberal is just the nicer way of putting it. Basically, my dad, I would say, is more of like an anarchist. So, with that growing up, I remember, or she would be so mad seeing me right now drawing him and blowing my mom in pink but this is getting the point across that um whenever I was little and eventually wherever my sibling was born and all that I remember though my dad not there was I ever really this conversation but there was this talk though about if I decided that you know not really decide but more of if one day I decided I liked boys, that was completely fine. And if I liked girls, that was a okay too. Or if I liked someone in between or someone whatever, my parents would not care. And as my dad would go on to say later on in my life, and this goes into a concept I've been researching. If he ever felt like I needed to make this big announcement in my life, coming up to him and introducing him to whoever and being like, mom, dad, I'm straight, I'm gay. Well, in his words, that was some hetero normative bullshit. Which is so weird to think about whenever I've talked to other people's parents whenever they you know their parents had the conversation of coming out or whatever nobody else's parents use the term heteronormative and so I decided to look up what that theory was and basically that theory whenever you break it down hetero you know heterosexuals and normative being normal it's basically this idea of that basically heterosexuality is normal. 
and I don't know. It's weird to think about because I grew up in such a household that wasn't like that. But then the second though, we would go over to, you know, my mom's side of the family or whatever. Not that necessarily would ever slip up or forget, but I do remember though several times though, having conversations where the heteronormative bullshit mentality would come out of my mouth. Like I grew up really liking comics and I was a girl and that was weird or whatever that I knew all that stuff or whatever. But I don't know, I thought more and more about heteronormativity this Thanksgiving because, well, two of my cousins recently have come out and both of them have significant others that are the same gender as them. And one of them actually ended up bringing their significant other to Thanksgiving. Which, <laughs> nothing bad happened, but the whole time I was very, on very high alert waiting for the dreaded. So why are they here? And nobody asked, but still I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the moment when somebody would do that. It never happened, but I was waiting for over all of a sudden. This door would be forced open to reveal someone's secret. I, I assumed it would somehow lead to my secret or whatever. My secret being I'm gay, but again, some people in my family in my life do know I'm gay and like my parents I think have always just assumed that but again heteronormative bullshit I never came out of the closet which was another theory I've been researching about because it does have a lot of controversy in just in general in the world a lot of people don't feel like it should be this production or some people feel like you do need to come out in order to be valid or things like that. It's a very controversial idea. But at Thanksgiving, as I was sitting there watching my cousin talking to her significant other and everybody just very much was like, and it's just her friend. They're just really good friends. And everybody, Ariel, why don't you bring one of your good friends Thanksgiving? You can totally do that. I was wondering when all this time would just blow up in my face. And it never did. And that was weird. I really was expecting it. And I expected maybe at Christmas or Thanksgiving another time. But I, don't know, I was thinking about it compared to, you know, the first Thanksgiving, where probably, you know, if it happened the way that people said it happened, where the indigenous people came to hang out with the pilgrims. Oh yeah, that's totally a pilgrim hat for sure. Um, probably somebody on either one expected though for something bad to happen eventually, right? Not that anybody expected, you know, all of a sudden to be like, oh no, they're gonna figure out that cousin Jerry is a homo, but I don't know, it's weird to think about how then with Thanksgiving and now with Thanksgiving, for a lot of people though, just in general, there is this fear around the idea though of going with people that maybe you don't talk to every day and you know, you have to talk to them about maybe touchy subjects, not be that you want to, but it always happens, somebody brings up politics or things like that. There definitely had to be some politics brought up at the first Thanksgiving, right? There was probably some dude just sitting there being like, so what do you think about 
this idea of maybe not a monarchy anymore. And of course, there's one person being like, well, I'll tell you what, I'm starting to think maybe we should go back to a monarchy. There had to be some interaction like that, I like to think. But it's just interesting, just blah, blah. it's just interesting to think about now how we got from there to here. And there's still for a lot of people though, that fear though of gathering with other people. And it's different, but still, I know for me, I thought very much about how, not just with maybe that, but also I know I've had several family members that were also gay that had to sit at awkward Thanksgivings waiting for somebody to be like, so, Sam, where's your, you know, your good friend of yours? Oh, oh, you, you guys aren't really talking anymore. Cause that was always a thing at our Thanksgivings. I don't know, it's just weird to think about just in general though, how things kind of don't change, but they do. The Thanksgiving has evolved, but it's still for a lot of people, not a great holiday because of how much fear and anxiety it brings up. And that is kind of reassuring in a way to know that maybe other people feel that way, but I don't know, I'm still kind of on board with the idea that I should not go to Thanksgiving next year because who knows.